Today, we'll show a new funny prank compilation. Trust us, your friends will appreciate your sense of humor. I'm telling my silent friend Teddy about a marvelous date I'm going to have. At least he will hear me out and won't interrupt by telling his love story. Meanwhile, I'm trying to put on a hoodie, and a problem comes up here. Take a hoodie and sew the neck hole carefully. Redhead is trapped. There is no way she can get out of the hoodie. Maybe she can go to the date like that. Her boyfriend will like her style for sure. In the meantime, I swap my friend's sneakers. This version is slightly improved. I've made a massage insole. Take insoles out of the sneakers. Take some tiny stones and attach them to the insoles. Apply glue between the stones and sprinkle it with sand. Press it to make the sand attach. Put the insoles back into the sneakers. Irritated redhead puts on her sneakers. What's that? The sneakers seem to have gone to the beach on their own. But I can't shake the sand out. Redhead takes out the insoles. And there's a surprise. The desert glued to the insole refuses to come off. The young handy girl's busy repairing her bike. It's a good time to offer her my screwdriver. We'll need sugar paste of yellow and white colors. Knead the yellow paste with potato starch. Shape a screwdriver handle. Make a fluted handle using a square plastic cap. Make a hole in the top using a modeling tool. Shape a shank from the white paste mixed with the starch. Form a blade with your fingers. Apply water and join the handle and the shank. Paint the shank gray using food coloring. My friend refuses my magic tool. Are you kidding? Do you think I need a toy screwdriver? I'm not fixing a toy bike. I bite a piece of the screwdriver just before her eyes. She's bewildered. Have I turned into a robot eating plastic? Finally, she dares to taste it. At once, she gets what it is. I followed my roommate and now I know where she's hiding her money. It's time to perform a financial prank national operation. Print out a picture of the two sides of a banknote. Cut them out and join using double-sided tape. You can make banking cards in the same way. Put the fake money into your friend's secret place. She takes her hoard for recounting and finds my special money. Surprise! She understands from the first glance that it's fake. I've made something to surprise my friend. It's a key prank. Attach two identical keys using double-sided tape. Put them into your friend's backpack. She takes her key to open the door. She doesn't know there's a bonus key in her backpack. Surprise! I've got another prank. It's a lazy roller. Attach paper to a sticky roller for cleaning clothes. My friend's going to clean her clothes. I offer her my special roller. It can't stick anything. Can it clean emotions? Let the roller stick and remove all my bad emotions. I want to make up with my dear friend. I bring her her favorite juice without any pranks. She smiles and we're the best of friends again. I'm going to make a very special dessert for my friend. We'll need cream puffs and toothpaste for toddlers under three years of age as it's safe to swallow. Squeeze the paste into a cup. Cut off the tip of a big syringe. Suck the toothpaste. Cut the cream puffs and eject the unusual filling. Mmm, delicious! Treat your friend with the pastry. Bite a regular cream puff and let your friend get the paste-filled one. Oh, poor girl! She feels like she's accidentally brushed her teeth. Okay, I've got a special Sprite to fit her pastry. Pour Sprite into a cup. Put in mouth rinse instead. 
Add Sprite to fill the bottle. Treat your friend. She's going to get a drink. She takes a sip. <laughs> You'd better run away. She gets up quickly and runs to spit it out. A tasty orange can cheer you up. And I'm going to prank my friend with the salted one. Pour water into salt to make a saturated solution. Suck it in the syringe and fill an orange. I peel the orange and treat my friend. She bites a sweet piece. Is it actually sweet? It seems it is. She's eaten it without grimacing. Did I get the wrong orange? I should taste it myself. Oh God, what a ghastly thing. Sour and salty flavor is disgusting. I pranked myself. My lipstick is going to finish. I need a brush. I can ask my friend to give it to me. Rub a lip brush against a clove of garlic. My friend gives me her brush. I try to apply my lipstick. What's that scent? It smells of garlic, as if I'm going to fight vampires. This smell will not only make vampires, but other people run away from me. Try this fun fur trick when walking with your friend. Hot glue a piece of fur to shape a little tail. While your friend's looking away, attach the tail to your shoe. What a cute little beast! Tickle her leg with the tail. She's scared! She can't understand who's doing it. I repeat the trick again and again. Is it a cat or some other animal? Or is it my dear friend who's fooling around? Is there anyone around? No one. That's good. It's time for a skydiver shoes mission. Take your friend's favorite sneakers and attach them to the ceiling using double-sided tape. Your friend's going to put on her sneakers but can't find them anywhere. She leans back on the couch and sees her shoes on the ceiling. How did they get there? My friend tries to jump to the ceiling to take them off, but it's no easy thing considering her height. Wait a bit until the sneakers fall into your hands, or perhaps straight onto your head. Warning, a weather forecast calls for a shoe fall. You'd better put on a helmet. I'm going to take revenge for my spoiled photo. My friend will never expect such a sly revenge. I start a mission of a failed photo exhibition. <laughs> Print out selfies in which you look good and she doesn't. Attach them to the wall. You've been friends for so long, there's enough selfies to make a whole exhibition. Your friend enters the room. She sees her wall of disgrace. No! Seal up the room. Keep it in quarantine and destroy the evidence. Remove this wailing wall. I've come as a peacemaker to settle the quarrel. Take an ice cream to cope or soap with it. Carefully remove the wrapping from an ice cream bar. Take it out and keep the wrapping. Eat the ice cream, keep the stick, and clean it. Make a notch in a bar of soap. Use a craft knife. Insert the stick into the notch. Put the soap bar into the wrapping. Hot glue the edge. We open the ice creams. I've got a tasty real one, and my friend's got a piece of soap. The ice creams have nothing in common except for the shape. On the other hand, she won't smudge her hands in chocolate. My friend takes care of her skin. Let's offer her super nourishing cream. Transfer cream from the jar into a clean cup. Wipe the jar with a napkin. Put in sour cream. Clean the edge and put on the top. My friend opens her cream and puts it on her face, though she realizes at once there's sour cream instead of makeup. It's a purely natural product, no additives. Redhead wants to bake a pie. She needs an egg according to the recipe, but I'm going to sneak an egg that has been laid by a weird hen. Shake an egg thoroughly so that the white and the yolk mix inside. Prick the shell using a thick needle. Suck some of the white and yolk mixture into a syringe. Then fill the syringe with air and eject it into the egg. The mixture comes out under the pressure of the air. Be sure to do it gradually so that the pressure doesn't crack the shell. Dry the empty egg for 24 hours. Mix small sprinkles of different colors and fill the empty egg using a paper cone. Hot glue the hole. Paint it for a camouflage. I follow the recipe. I break an egg over the dough. Suddenly, there are sprinkles falling out. A wonder of nature. You can decorate your pie just before it is baked. And don't forget to give your thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new and funny pranks on the Trim Trim channel.